Welcome to On the Edge with J.P. Divine from Central Maine Sunday. On the Edge with J.P. Divine audio is made possible by our subscribers like you. Thank you for listening and supporting local journalism in Central Maine. Now here's J.P. Divine. There's always something. There are three annoying words spoken daily in our lives. Words we learn at our mother's laps. There's always something. My mother used these words more than Hail Mary full of grace. Or Jesus Christ help me. Which she said a hundred times a day. When she ran out of rinse for the laundry. Or clothespins. Being Catholic... She added, they helped me to keep from offending Jesus. As if Jesus himself was actually a celestial Siri waiting for her next question. In fact, don't we all treat God as a heavenly Siri? Yes. Don't deny it. We do. Okay, you've caught me digressing. I do that often. It's because now I have the shattered attention span of an official nonagenarian. Have patience with me. I'm almost out of clothespins. Wake up, dear reader. The topic today is, there's always something. This expression was ingrained in my life by my mother, who used it like a washcloth or toothbrush. Here's an occasion. I've taken great pains to dress for an occasion, like going to our annual dinner, at front in Maine, or a walk, or bar mitzvah. I've showered and shaved, dressed in clean underwear, shirt, and sneakers, and pulled my summertime seersucker pants up and got in the car. Once in her seat, she, who has eyes like a MAGA pole watcher, exclaimed, What's that on your pants? She knows what it is, but she wants me to know that. It's a stain of wild Maine blueberry champagne jam. (sighs) Oh, Lord. Ain't it always something? Before I became a nun, a genarian this past September, I would let fly with a long parade, foul expletives. But now I, uh, I just simply mutter, it's always something. I actually think it's a complaint used by people you would never expect to utter it, like the priest on the other side of the confessional screen when I told him about Rosemary de Bronco's Angora sweaters. He clutched his rosary and whispered, It's always something with you, Jeremiah. Or, for example, when poor octogenarian President Joe Biden tripped over a sandbag and fell to the tarmac after handing out the last diploma at a graduation ceremony at the U.S. Air Force Academy in Colorado this past week. I'm sure the First Lady lowered her head, made the sign of the cross, and whispered, Oh, Lord, it's always something with that man. And when Kevin McCarthy gulped when he heard Joe Biden ask for more bridges, tunnels, better railroads, and tents for the homeless at the border, and then add, Kevin, Would you consider saying the rosary with me? I'll bet Vladimir Putin muttered them into his vodka when the G7 nations of the free world gave President Zelensky more tanks, rockets, and bullets and airline tickets. As a spiritual pilgrim, I imagine the Lord of the universe looking at us from the other side, holding the eternal forehead and moaning 
Ain't there always something? Well, June is here, and summer will end. We'll have enjoyed the good and suffered the bad. And then one day, the Lord of the universe will press our button and whisper, It's always something. Thanks for listening to On the Edge with J.P. Devine. On the Edge with J.P. Devine audio is made possible by our subscribers like you. Thank you for supporting local journalism in Central Maine.